I'm Peter Bayich. I'm a urologist at the Cleveland Clinic. So as far as we know, circumcision doesn't really result in any um, significant change in sensation. And we know that primarily from studies done with mass circumcision campaigns in Africa for helping to prevent the transmission of HIV. When comparing sensation before and after circumcision in adult men, there really wasn't any significant change. Now that skin that's removed certainly does have some nerve endings, so I still counsel my patients that it is a potential risk, but there hasn't really been anything conclusive published um, on that leading to clinically significant reductions in sensation on a broader population scale. Same idea, there's really not a change in orgasm uh, or ability to reach orgasm after undergoing a circumcision. Um, I do tell my patients that there may be certain things that they need to get used to. For example, once they're circumcised, they may need to use more uh, lubrication, uh, but in general, there similarly hasn't been any robust research proving a difference in ability to reach orgasm. Yeah, so um, adults who are experiencing issues with the foreskin, like phimosis, which is a tightness of the foreskin where it cannot be uh, adequately retracted. Sometimes it can lead to pain with erections or difficulty with sexual activity. Um, there can also be inflammatory and infectious conditions of the head of the penis called balanitis or of the foreskin called postitis or both together. Um, so there are a number of issues like this that can happen. They're more likely in men who are diabetic. Um, and interestingly, there are some of the newer diabetic drugs actually work by um, putting more uh, glucose or sugar in the urine, which can kind of create a breeding ground for bacteria and fungi and lead to some of these uh, foreskin issues.